What's up everybody? Time for another unboxing. Today I got a new lens. It's a 40 millimeter 2.8 and we're gonna do a quick unboxing of it. So pretty much I wanna get straight to this thing and I got this new LED light if you haven't seen it already. You can turn it on. Um, it's a little bright right here, but it's kind of give you ambience if you turn it to the other side. So you can change the color. Let me give you a little demo. Uh, green. I think it's green. Uh, red. Uh, just to keep that blue. Kind of cool. All right, we'll keep that out there. And so we're gonna go get to this. So I got a razor. Opening up this box. And so this is um, if you haven't seen the new um, G. G lenses. This is one of those uh, 40 millimeter 2.8 G lenses. It's a full frame lens, so here's a receipt, I guess. Look at that. Boom. Throw this box to the side. All right. So I also got a bought a lens cap for my camera body because if I lose it, this is a good one to have. It's like about five bucks on uh, to replace the um, body cap. That's what it's called. So here's the box itself. And so small, look at this. Look at this little box right here. 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter 2.5 FE lens. And let's see, it's a 435 millimeter full frame lenses. Ooh. Okay, in the box, there is really nothing in there. Uh, looks like all this warranty, instruction manual. Wow, a lot of books but no one really reads all this. So I'm gonna put it back into the box. And there is, looks like there is no case with this lens. And it's just this lens. Well, that's it. There's nothing else to it. All right. So uh, the cap, lens cap, it looks like, I wonder, oh. So once you open it right here, you see this? The way it's shaped. A little closer right there got a little button right here as well you can this is a quick button like a you know, uh, to use anyways so that's kind of cool kind of like the GM's uh, like any prime lens it has one of these buttons that you can map to a special uh, key for your camera and besides this and besides this you can itself here's the lens itself I believe this is a lens cap they can roll trade off and that's it it's kind of kind of interesting it's very flat so in terms of the lens itself here we go i wonder if you can oh, it doesn't really do anything so this is interesting i believe it's for filters not quite sure it says this is a 49 millimeter so if you have an nd filter or anything uh you would need it to be the size of 49. I believe that you can screw it onto here because uh, there's threads along this lens cap. But in terms of the lens itself, they have threads on them, which is kind of cool. So it's a manual control um, threads. You can, there's a click off and on button right here. And once you have it off, uh, when the click is on, it makes sounds. So. You can, see, you can hear that, I heard the microphone. So it makes little clicks for each dial it's on so you don't constantly change it. But once you turn it off, um, it, once you get out of the auto, uh, because once it's out of auto, now you can, it's smooth. So once it's off, the clicks doesn't, it doesn't make clicks between each aperture stop. So, so it, it's smooth from 2.5 all the way to F22. So that's kind of cool about it. So F 2.5 all the way to F 22. And then you can click it into auto and it'll, you can do it in digitally in camera. So if you don't want to uh, manually do it, you can do it digitally in camera when it's on auto. And once you have the clicks on, when you jump it back out, you can hit the clicks again from 2.5 to 22. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's uh, very nice. Uh, the blades itself, uh, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven blades, or is it seven? I don't know, I count the seven sides, but either way, it's, uh, yeah. Um, I believe it says um, minimum focus 
uh, distance is 0.28 meters or 0.92 feet which is almost one foot so the minimum focus distance between this lens will be one foot before it will be focused so that's pretty much all there is to this um, the the back of it is aperture and the top is probably the focus ring itself it's very smooth so uh, the glass is very tiny it's only like a centimeter or so this doesn't take up the whole entire glass but um, if you were uh, looking at it there's some threads inside so you can put a filter but uh, you can put probably one filter so maybe this changes the way it does it but this is kind of cool in terms of a, a very small very lightweight lens so I'll test it out and that's it to this unboxing I'm gonna do a little quick look there's a little close-up view of it That's all there is to this video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.